My name is Truvin Herpara, and I'm a General Surgery Resident at the University of Toronto. I'd like to thank the committee for giving me the opportunity to present our work titled Anastomotic Leak After Colorectal Surgery, Does Timing Affect Failure to Rescue? I have no disclosures. Anastomotic leak carries significant morbidity and up to a 7% 30-day mortality. Experiencing mortality after a complication is known as failure to rescue, which has emerged as an important marker of hospital level quality of care. Despite these significant adverse outcomes associated with anastomotic leak, the timing of an anastomotic leak after surgery and how this relates to post-operative outcomes is relatively understudied. If timing of an anastomotic leak is associated with failure to rescue, emphasis on active and earlier detection could improve outcomes for this devastating complication. In this study, we hypothesized that early anastomotic leak, which may represent technical failure, is associated with worse um, rates of failure to rescue. All patients undergoing colectomy identified in the 2012 to 2017 merged ACS NISQIP master and colorectal data sets were eligible for inclusion. Primary outcome was failure to rescue after anastomotic leak. Anastomotic leak was defined as a leak whether treated by reoperation, interventional or non-operative or non-interventional means. Failure to rescue after anastomotic leak was defined as an all-cause 30-day mortality which occurred after the diagnosis of an anastomotic leak. Patient demographic and clinical variables assessed included age, sex, ASA class, BMI, emergency status, use of a bowel preparation, technical approach, that is open or minimally invasive surgery, use of a defunctioning ostomy, median operative time, and perioperative blood transfusions. Post-op day leak categories were defined to identify categories with the highest predictive performance for the outcome of failure to rescue as assessed by the C statistic after a univariate regression analysis. The following characterizations uh, were identified. Early leaks included uh, post-operative days less than or equal to three, intermediate were between post-op days four to 20, and late leaks were between post-op days 20 to 30. Post-op day groups were compared with uni and multivariable models to determine the association of timing of anastomotic leak with failure to rescue. We identified a total of 135,539 patients who underwent colectomy during the study period. 3,288 uh, 3, patients uh, experienced an anastomotic leak with recorded post-op day data in the study period with a failure to rescue rate of 5.7%. Failure to rescue an early anastomotic leak was identified in 28 out of the 195 patients with a failure to rescue rate of 12.6%. In the intermediate anastomotic leak cohort, the failure to rescue rate was 5.6%, and in the late anastomotic leak cohort, the failure to rescue rate was 0.8%, is identified in this slide here. The most significant difference was seen in reoperation rates, which were 81.2% in early anastomotic leak, 58.4% in intermediate anastomotic leaks, and 35.4% in late anastomotic leaks. There was no difference noted in median operative times and blood transfusion rates. This figure is a visual representation of failure to rescue rates stratified by post-operative day. There is a notable decrease in all-cause mortality by post-op day of anastomotic leak as illustrated by the log trend line with a R-squared value of 0.59. In the multivariable logistic regression controlling for age, ASA, sex, BMI, emergency status, preoperative bowel prep, preoperative approach, indication, defunctioning ostomy, and reoperation, an early anastomotic leak had a 15.14 fold increased risk of failure to rescue, and an intermediate leak had a 6.54 fold increase of failure to rescue compared to a late, anast late anastomotic leak. This uh, difference was statistically significant. Our findings must be considered in the context of emerging evidence that early anastomotic leaks are more often related to technical factors with late anastomotic leaks more associated with patient-related factors. The most robust evidence examining this concept um, is by the Dutch colorectal audit, which studied risk factors for early versus delayed anastomotic leak defined as greater than post-op day six, in this retrospective cohort study of 36,929 patients with colorectal cancer risk factors for early anastomotic leak, they included 
male sex, and no diverting stoma. In their series, other risk factors included laparoscopy, increasing BMI, and emergency surgery, which were not identified in our findings. Predictors of a late anastomotic leak included ASA class three to four, which was also not seen in our analysis. This study, however, did not examine the timing of the leak and its relationship with postoperative mortality or failure to rescue. To further elucidate the effect of technical factors, we attempted to look at proxies for operative difficulties, such as conversion to um, open perioperative blood loss and operative time, all of which were not significantly different amongst the post-op day categories. Given the potential morbidity and mortality related to an anastomotic leak, emphasis on early detection may be imperative uh, to improving outcomes and failure to rescue in this vulnerable patient group. There's also robust evidence that adjuncts such as CRP can be used to supplement the clinical suspicion of an anastomotic leak, avoiding the, uh, and this would avoid the increased morbidity and cost due to diagnostic delay of an anastomotic leak. Our results uh, must also be viewed in light of its limitations. This is a retrospective study uh, with significant proportion of missing data post-op day of leak, um, uh, to be specific, 28 to 29% of data. It would also be useful to have better data on operative and technical difficulties during the index procedures to explore the association of technical failure with an early anastomotic leak with more rigor. Due to the administrative nature of the data, we also could not capture information in hospital and surgeon volume. Nonetheless, our findings um, do support the hypothesis that early anastomotic leak, which may represent technical failure, is associated with worse rates of failure to rescue. Given that failure to rescue has emerged as a marker of hospital level quality of care, further interrogation of our findings in a prospective manner is warranted. Thank you for your time.